In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own personalized study plan, which in Prodigy Connect is known as a blueprint. So on your home screen, you'll see a button right here called Create a Blueprint. Let's click that. So now we're at the Personal Blueprint Creator. So let's say you are about to start studying for boards today, and you are going to give yourself, say, two months to study for boards. And you wanted to cover all of the material in the Prodigy Library, make sure that you went through all of it. So we're going to leave the start date at today, and let's click the calendar beside the estimated board exam date, and we'll choose, let's say, May 11th. So that'll be two months. Now there's an option here on how we would like to organize the materials in the library. The first option is to group by general category, and that's what most people choose because it seems a little bit more intuitive. We can also group the resources by major NBCRNA heading. Now, the reason we have these two options here is if you go by NBCRNA heading, not all of the cardiac material would appear together. For example, um, surgical procedures would contain cardiac surgery, but then basic sciences would contain cardiac anatomy, so they would be separated. If you group them by general category, then all of the cardiac materials will be in sequence, all of the respiratory materials will be in sequence, and kind of group that way, which to me just makes a little bit more sense. Now, the last option here is to choose the maximum number of questions that will appear in your weekly quizzes. So when Prodigy Connect creates your, your blueprint, it's going to look at all of the materials that are in each week's study guide, and it's going to create an exam based on those materials so that you have a little checkup that you can do at the end of studying to see how well you're doing. So for this one I'll just leave it at a maximum of a hundred questions. And now I'm going to click OK. So it's telling me that I'm creating a new personal study blueprint. If I already had a blueprint created it's going to delete that one and replace it with this new one which that's fine with me for right now so I'm going to click yes. Okay, so now we have a message that says your study blueprint has been created. You may click the blueprints button in the navigation bar above to access it. It's taken us to the home screen, so we're just going to click view my blueprints. Now here at the very top, you'll see my study plan. That's the blueprint that we just created. And if you look, it's divided up into nine weeks that cover those two months that we we set with the dates that we chose if i click any of the materials under here you can tell it's starting with airway first and it's grouped the airway materials together um, if we switch to another date then here it's advanced to local anesthetics um, inhaled anesthetics so these are obviously the anesthesia drugs so if we scroll down to the very bottom of the list for any of the weeks you'll see it says summary quiz for week two. So if I click that, it'll ask me, would I like to begin this quiz? And like I said, it's going to start a quiz that's based just on the materials for that week's study plan. So if I click yes, then there we are at the quiz for that week. So I'm going to click quit here for now. No, I would not like to save my progress in this case. And we're back at the home screen. So I'm going to jump back to view my blueprints again just to make one additional note. So if you're in a school where your faculty create and assign blueprints to you, those will also appear here. So they'll, they'll all be in this list that says select blueprint below. You can just click any one of these and it'll repopulate the list of weeks for that blueprint. And obviously it'll have different quizzes at the end of each week. Now if you would like to see the results for quizzes for all of your blueprints, then let's click exam results right here in the toolbar. So you'll see that we have practice exams, faculty assigned exams, and blueprint quizzes. So if you would like to look at the scores for your blueprint quizzes, you can see, you'll see a list of them here, the first one here, we only have my study plan. If I click it, then it'll populate with all of the scores that I've had for each of those, those weeks. Now, I should also note that you can take a blueprint quiz as many times as you want. Only the highest score will appear here in this list. If you want to replace this blueprint, then let's just go back to the home screen, click Create a Blueprint, and we could start again, create a brand new one, and it'll just delete out the old one and replace it with the new one that we create.